Today I'm gonna be playing some matches with a chess guy spirit deck that I found in the FIFOs of Modern Leagues and basically it's just no nonsense chess guy tempo other than rattle chains I guess that's debatable but other than that, it's pretty straightforward for of every good card that we want. And the sideboard does have some more interesting, really specific cards, but we'll see how this plays out. Let's just hop into a league. Here we are in the first match with Jeskai Spirits. We're on the play, and this hand is just not keepable. One more lamb would have done it. Pretty similar, but I think this time we have to keep. Since we have opt and cluttered strand, it should be okay. So we'll just lead flowers strand and the end of turn up. It's not perfect that we don't have interesting affinity. I think force of negation in here won't really do a ton. Because while it would slow them, or I guess if this is Lurus, I. Okay, it's probably hammer time then. So we don't care about Springleaf Drum here. And we can just look for a land. Bellqueller goes to the bottom and we draw rattle chains, not a land. It's not great. Well, that's really not great. For us, since we will have to let them draw a card here. With Esper Sentinel, because we didn't draw a second land, but oh well. We'll have to just take two here and end step have to exile their Esper Sentinel. Just bite the bullet on this one. Since there's not really a point in us waiting one more turn, just to draw land and pay for that, since that would slow us down too much. And we don't draw the second land. Great. Now, Sigarda's aid. We definitely want to counter that exciting rattle chains. My guess would be that they have something else here. Yeah, Bushiro's steel paladin comes down and in response to the hammer will puff it. So 
so now they can't do anything. Attack for one and that's it. Now again we still don't draw our second land. So that's not that great. We take one damage and one infect, and we really, oh well. We can force a negation this, but we need to draw something else right now. Or we're just out of options. Well, Stoneforge is not gonna get them a oh, Shadow Spear. Well, okay, it wasn't meant to be for us. We just can't throw a second land. Maybe we should have mulliganed to five. But if we have land and opt i think it still is a key for this matchup i definitely want wear tears i'm not sure on the fries maybe they can be good i probably want to go down a few remands here Ceremonious rejection doesn't really hit the bill here. I think going down all the remands for wear tears and rice could be an option, but I'm gonna try out by cutting just three of them for one fry and two wear tears and see how it goes. We're on the play again. And hopefully we'll draw more lands this time. Okay, two lands. This is definitely a keep. We're gonna have to choose to get steam vents with scalding tarn meaning that if we draw a path it's gonna be dead but we don't really have another choice since we definitely re need red mana interesting is personal I think I'm gonna not bolt it here. Just to not let them draw a card with it. And then just pass the card. You can't counter spell here because I won't make them draw a card. So we'll just have to end of turn kill the Esper Sentinel. Yeah. The Esper Sentinel seems like the most troublesome thing they have here. So we're just gonna bolt and be done with it. Next turn we can keep up Counter Spell or Archmage's Charm, one of their things if need be.
There's a car that's eight. I think I want to counter that with a counter spell. And of course they have another one. And uh, no hammer yet. But I'm sure it's gonna come. Yeah, Colossus Hammer. Okay, well. We're in a troublesome spot now. We have to hope to draw a path or just hope that we can get away with jump blocking for a few turns. Here they're gonna get another Another hammer, I'm probably equipped to Ornithopter, if I had to guess. Oh no, Pipe Needle for Flattest Rent. Well, mm, I don't really care about that that much. I think another hammer would have been way worse for me. And like this, we can just keep waiting till we draw something. Another Ursa Saga isn't really great. And I'm attacking here with Ornithopter things to me that they might have another hammer in hand, in which case we just straight up lose. In theory, this should be a great matchup for us with all the removal we have, but it just didn't work out that way. Both games. I mean, it's not a loss, just it. Um, yeah, we're gonna die to Shadow Spear here, and that's the game. Here we are in the second match with Jeskai Spirit and this hand looks great so I'm just gonna keep and hopefully we can oh man this could be quite problematic as we'll need to line ball Dragavan here, making it so that we can't get out fountain, so we might be screwed on mana here. However, letting them get the treasure is just too much value that we have to give up here. I'm just going to kill the monkey.
Employee Island and past the turn. Stomp to our face. Okay, well. I don't think we could let Pro Blood Moon resolve here, so counter spell and now we can island again and just roll chains and opt unless they play something that we have to yeah we still can't let this guy resolve <coughs> And now we have Snappy as well, so we can counter spell something again. This might seem a bit spooky, but preventing them from getting a threat stick and getting a snappy down to attack them is exactly what we want. And this also allows us to opt. Although we don't have white mana yet, oh well. I think bottoming the land there was okay as we should draw a white search sometime soon anyway. I think we have to let this resolve. Hmm. Well, I think we can let this guy resolve and just play snap up the end of turn. Snap opt. Where you would really want a lightning bolt here. Second best thing would be a white white source to cast a white source to cast. Puff, but we didn't write, so I'm just gonna get in with Snappy and plan on casting Rattle Chains and either Remand or Hunter Spell. Let them attack in, cast Rattle Chains and block Ragavan. And whatever they have to interact with, we're just gonna counter spell or remand. Depending on how much their interaction was. Yeah, we'll have to counter spell that. It does open us up to. Another removal spell, yeah. So it might have been better to rattle chains again in order to counter. In hindsight, it probably was better to 
ut there, but oh well, path for them. Interesting. If they want to path fast, I am fine with that since then we could get uh, planes for our own path. They decide to do that, so we're okay with that. Get planes and this unlocks our own path. Now we can just snap off or straight up path end of turn. Or before they attack rather. And now we can either cast Rattle Chains or Snap Counter Spell. Yeah. End of turn, just rattle chains and we have a clock again. And we can just remount whatever they, if they want to play or both here. This slash is annoying, but I think just gonna have to let it go. Interesting. Now this one we can just remand for now. And Archmage's Charm trying to On their turn, if they choose to cast a bush again, we can snap remand him this time. This opens us up to them slash, but they already used two of them. So they're gonna run out at some point. And yeah, there's another answer for Nappy. Great. I really should be running out soon enough. But until then, we'll just continue to pass back and remand. And rattle chains. Remand of us again, and then rattle chains. The end of turn and continue with our onslaught. This time, I think I'm gonna let Abash resolve. And we'll just have him in the turn. Or in their upkeep. Might be better to do it then. Just swing in for two and pass the turn.
not having cryptic command available is kind of whatever, but yeah, we should get there somehow. I don't really want to take sticks from the lightning bolt here, so I'm gonna spend two paths to deal with a boss. And we are at date, they are at date, so yeah. Fury for them. I think I want to counter that. Well, we are flooding a bit right now. Might have been better to. Season Pyro, of course. Might have been better to just start with protecting our snappies from their removal spells. Well, oh well. Yeah, it looks like we. Oh well, of course. Looks like we're gonna lose this one. I'm not even sure if we have any cyborg card for this matchup. Well, Tower could maybe be good, but only against Black Moon and the other cards really do nothing. It might be valuable to have either Ghost in the cyborg or this attack matchup. As well as I'm a Titan, so it would be more flexible than just having Shadow of Doubt. Okay, here we are on the play against Man Red Opus. And this hand looks pretty okay. I think it's a keep. And I'm gonna just start off with opt. Yeah, I think the last game I I think I lost it on the turn when I uh, counterspelled instead of casting the other rattle chains to save the rattle chains from the bolt. If I prevented them from getting in with Fragment there, I think we would have won the match. Or the game, at least. So yeah, hopefully we can do better this game. Interesting. Now whatever they might do here, I'm just gonna counter spell. Unless it's forcible. Yeah, Black Moon, that's forcible. 
definitely can afford. And let's learn just the found and counter spells again. Hmm. Another moon. Interesting. This turn we can even color another moon if they play one. Yeah. Well, I mean, maps of the moon. It could also be powerful, but I don't want to risk anything. I'm just going to color it. If they hold our queller now, we're gonna float by to be able to path their magus. I'm gonna just get him for two and pass the turn back to them. And then either we can snap counter spell or counter spell. We have to snap here to get value out of it. I'm gonna just target up and not cast it yet. Leaving the option open. If they try to crack relic and if they don't I'm gonna just end of turn it. I can't really let this guy resolve. I'm just gonna counter spell. Now we're on very little, but we still have an opt and a draw step. Opt finds us. Can I spell a uh, path to exit? Well, I mean, we are really behind by a lot. Right now, they have three cards in hand, we have two cards. But if they try to kill our spell killer, we can just. Go ahead and save it. Now, where was this dumb target thing and now it's dumb just tap cast this guy okay and now it's using pyro we can't really do anything so we'll just have to take it and since we don't have a rough here, uh, 
I think the best we can do is buff it. If they try to attack with the Bone Crusher. And just counter race with spirits as hard as we can. There's a Blood Moon, we can let the one result. I think I don't want to get in here with I, on one hand I don't want to block but on the other hand I think it could be alright to get some kind of action out of them and protecting spell pillar with rattle chains. So I'm just gonna block and then most likely have a needle drop or one damage effect here. Lava dark and that gets countered by rattle chains. However, there is still gonna be able to kill the rattle chains. By sacrificing a mountain. So... That's probably what they'll do here. Depending on what I play next turn, I'm either gonna draw to or counter spell of charm. I'm not really sure what's mathematically uh, more likely to help us in the end. So I guess it'll depend on how how impactful their spell is that they draw here. Looks like they just passed Bone Crusher. And activate their land. So I'm just gonna try to with charm the end of the turn. Okay, unless they have something really good there that next turn, two rattle chains and double bell queller in the air. And if they have an creature spell, we can first negation it, and if they have fury, we can. 
Ragavan. So I think I'm gonna have to let that one get in and hope they don't get something too impactful. Half. Okay. Well, if that's all they have, we can deal with that. I just... No. Yeah. By forcing it, if we would rather change to give it text proof, we would open ourselves up to Hardcast Fury, and that won't be too great. This way, the only way that could hurt us would be another instant speed removal. But looks like they don't have anything new. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'll just activate their land and we'll cast Red Chains and attack for six. Six in the air and they can block. Now we'll just win. GG. Okay. Well, closed. But... I don't think I'll change anything for the draw. I'm... pretty okay with everything. Rattle chains may not be the greatest, but... If we were to cut them, there would still be Snapcaster Mages that can eat Lava Dart, so we just have too many targets for that one. So I'll leave all of them in, not sideboard again. Okay, this time we're on the draw. Against my red and this and loose. Pretty okay. Relic turn one. Okay. Nice. And remind is a good draw for us. And relic doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, if they play a black moonier, I'm gonna just or anything really. I'm just gonna. Head shop and remand. The optimal thing to do next turn would be to get that under spell queller. And then protect Spell Queller with Heart of Negation and the other Spell Queller. Oh well, Triple Queller? Shaping up to be a decent game plan. I will just Spell Queller this guy.
Well, not much we can do about that one. <laughs> yeah, that'll just get them. And they'll discard two, probably land card and get two elementals. And that's gonna be problematic for us. Uh, just one element. But still not that great for us. Since now we have to raise these guys. It just put a push into their hand and cast a ragaman. Yeah, I'm gonna quell him. And just start to race against this. Bold. Okay. Well, we have an answer to help us for this turn. I'm gonna block the season pyromancer here. If they want to play something that answers the well quellers, they're free to do so. I'm just gonna rattle chains to protect this guy. Since we can't get blown out by fury because they don't have two cards in hand, I'm just gonna give it hex proof and let the Queller survive. And then we can block the Pyra, meaning that we're I think we're winning the race. Yeah. Even with the three tokens that they can do, especially since we do have the lightning bolt in hand. Snapcaster Mage is just a uh, one with last year since we can't really Flash anything back with two relics out. Well, that was pretty okay. I think I'm gonna let it resolve and just lightning bolt end of turn. I kind of like going for lightning bolt here. Oh, whoops. Yeah. 
Oh, that one is a misplay, but they punted right back. I should have tapped this guy, this forest while Moon was active. Since now we don't have red, so yeah. I think I'm gonna just get in with the team, letting them block Snappy here. But they'll take six and now they're dead on board and we have two counter spells up. Three depending on what they have. Yeah. We can remount our first thing and Archmage's charm. Our second thing, and that's the game. GG. After the punt in the first game, I wasn't sure if I could pull this back, but the second and third game looked alright. All in all, the Spellqueller plan is pretty good when it works, but uh, as I had to learn the hard way. Fury is really a great answer to it, as usually we will be able to answer everything with a force of negation when we're tapped out, but Fury can get through that, so we can just tap out with spell coloring something because they could always main phase a fury. I think I'm gonna see how the rest of this league plays out before I make any changes to the deck, but the sideboard cards do seem a bit way too specific for me. I think if I were to change anything about the sideboard, it would definitely be to bring in Ether Gusts and probably Mystical Disputes over the Dispels and the Ceremonious Rejections and also Shadow of Doubt and Hallowed, whatever seem way too specific for me. And I'm not so sure what exactly surgical is for. Probably could also be replaced with a third graveyard hate card. That's it for me for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.